everybody, I'm 143 years old, <laughs> which means that I have seen Eleanor through her heyday and also die. Um, I don't know if you thought that all the pictures in black and white of people were because of the film, but actually we only ever dressed in black and white. <laughs> I've worn this shirt. And when I put it on today, I wasn't entirely sure if I was wearing it backwards. <laughs> Do you know? Does anybody have any idea if I'm wearing this backwards? You feel you feel good about it? Oh, you're so sweet. What is your name? Meg. Meg, I am Florence Mayweather. Hi, Hi. It's a pleasure. Oh, the pleasure. pleasure's mine. Um, are you younger than 143 years old? Just barely. Oh, how lovely. Well, I've seen quite a few things in my day. Um, I was a suffragette. Uh, if you don't know what that means, you don't know how to use the internet. <laughs> and I'm not going to tell you. Okay? Uh, so I didn't get the right to vote until I was about... 45, 46. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> it's fucked up, isn't it? You know what else is fucked up? Are you under 143 years old? Well, if you were my age, my exact age, you wouldn't have been able to vote when I was able to vote. Isn't that fucked up? <laughs> people like Eleanor to try and get the right to vote. And a lot of people say that Susan B. Anthony was a racist. Do you know who Susan B. Anthony is? Good. He has the internet. <laughs> but a lot of people say that she was a racist. To that I say I did not know her personally. And if she was, fuck that bitch. <laughs> I mean, it was because of her and acts of, you know, protest, peaceful protest. Protest that should not be met with a fire hose, for example. I'm sure they don't do that anymore. <laughs> or protest that is met with tear gas. They used to do that. They must not do that anymore. I don't have the internet, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> but I can't imagine they would do that. But they did it back then, and it was terrible. Oh, it was terrible. Oh, wait, it wasn't terrible. It was fucked up. <laughs> it was terribly fucked up. <sighs> but Eleanor, I knew her personally. Did I already say that? I knew her personally, and I was standing with her when she first realized that the polio was going to take her husband's legs. And she said to her husband, she said, Franklin, you get off your proverbial ass, because he could not get off his literal one, <laughs> and you need to still run for president. What a badass bitch. <laughs> Can you believe it? I think she did it because she secretly was going to run the country herself, and she did. She ran that country. She had press conferences. She had a radio show, as our beautiful hosts mentioned. And she coined the phrase back in my day. Oh, I love that phrase. <laughs> I use it all the time because I'm 143 years old. <laughs> She also, as our lovely hosts mentioned, founded the United Nations Declaration of Human Rights. And I know, because I've been alive to see it happen, that she was the first person to fight for your right to party. <laughs> <laughs> and she fought for my right to party. And when my mom school, I said, I don't want to go. <laughs> but I went the next day because I wanted to get an education. Because being educated is wonderful, isn't it? Oh, clap your hands if you like to learn.
great and memorialize in this cold Chicago day. So cold that I can't fear my hands. But she warms my heart. And then, I don't know if you've been alive for a month, but some shit has gone down. <laughs> and seeing the progress that we have made in humanity was beautiful for a while. And then something happened, and we just took a shit on it all, didn't we? Collectively, I don't think that you took a shit, Meg. I don't know you that well. How do I know what your bowel movements are? <laughs> we all took a shit together. And we've got to fix it together, don't we? I might be dead tomorrow. By 10.30 tonight, if I'm lucky. But this country sucks right now. And we have to fix it together. Eleanor would be so proud if we went out there and we used our cellular phones and we called people that have a voice in the government and we said, back in my day, <laughs> things were better. Progress was being made. Let's not uh, go backwards uh, like we're on a treadmill that's uh, not functioning. <laughs> that simile if we need to. <laughs> All I'm saying is, I feel like we made a lot of progress, and now we're going back a little bit, and even though it's not your fault, perhaps, personally, can we all say together, it's pretty fucked up. <laughs> Thank you.